everyone welcome back to my channel and for today's video we will be doing a first impression review plus get ready with using this dream velvet foundation by maybelline yes matagal na tong foundation na to at yes ngayon ko pa lang siya gagamit and if you want to hear my thoughts about this product please continue watching Para mas matas natin yung product, half of my face, I will be using a sponge. Half of it, I will be using a brush. And itong forehead ko, I will be using my palm. Ito yung mga packaging na gusto gusto ko. Bakit? Kasi, mapas agad mo yung product. I mean, ubus na ubus mo siya. Walang masasayang compare sa mga product na katulad nito. Na you will need a spatula para makuha yung mga product na nag-cling dun sa areas. So... Bagong-bago pa siya. By the way, nakuha ko ito sa Watson for $499. But I believe, nakasale po ngayon ang Tasada. Mm, yan. Bagong-bago pa lang siya. So, so, this is the product looks like. Yung consistency ng product is mousse, which is good, and it feels so velvety. Ayan, sobrang velvet ng product. And it claims din kasi na hydrating foundation, soft matte, and hydrating. Imagine, matte na hydrating foundation. So, let's apply my favorite Primary as of the moment is Eliza Vega. So, ang lalagyan ko lang ng primer ay yung kalahati ng aking face. So, let's apply the product using my fingertips. Ooh, super mousse. Mousse yung consistency niya. And, uh, let me get my sponge and let's blend this. Guys, eto nga ba lang itsura ng aking skin ngayon. May mga dark spot. And, meron akong dark dito. Guys, nakikita nyo ba yan? This is the right face ng aking mukha. And, kung makikita nyo, blur out yung redness ng nasa face ko. And, nalighten niya ng konti yung dark spot ko dito. Yung dark pimple marks ko. And I love the coverage. It's a medium coverage product. Medyo yung feeling niya is medyo tacky. Medyo sticky ng kono. Bungan pa siya na isang coat kung buildable yung coverage niya. Lagyan natin yung mga. Kasi yung iba okay naman ako. Tingnan lang natin itong part na to. Kung buildable pa. buildable yung foundation. Ayan. Okay, guys. Uh, yung foundation is light to medium. Pero, maganda. Maganda na. For me, okay na yung coverage niya sa akin. Kasi I feel na kapag dinagdagan ko pa at the end of the day, mag- Oh! Guys, yung foundation, nagkikling siya dun sa aking under eye area. Ayan o, nagbuo-buo na siya dito. Medyo, hindi siya okay. Dun sa under eye, hindi okay yung foundation sa under eye area ko. Nagsisettle siya dun. Okay, that's a minus point. Let's apply the foundation using a brush on the left side of my face without a primer. Hmm? Yung pump na kinuha ko kanina, medyo madami pa. So, let's apply it. Kung makikita nyo, hindi ako iisang motion lang mag-blend mag ng foundation ko using a brush. And, hindi siya nag-streaks. Hindi siya nag-gumagawa ng streaks doon sa face ko. At, mas light coverage naman yung binibigay niya using a sponge. As you can see, Parang second skin ko lang tong kabilang side. And this, plakadong plakado siya. Pero ito kasi na second coat ko na. And let's try naman dun sa may forehead ko. Using my 
fingers to blend it out and okay siya for me mas okay nga using your fingertips na i-blend out siya kasi mas nawawarm niya yung product kasi nga mousse ito pero okay siya using my my fingertips and for me yung gantong coverage yung light coverage lang sheer coverage lang siya and it feels so soft velvety sa side ng face ko may konting tackiness akong nararamdaman but it's not that and it, ang itsura niya para ka nang nagpowder on sa ano ah, sa actual ah. okay siya with the brush I must say mas okay siya sa na using a brush kasi hindi siya nagsettle dun sa under eye area ko compare dito using sponge, a damp sponge mas gusto ko to pero syempre like we will try it kung buildable using a brush ang product so kailangan kasi natin siyang pantayin kasi kung makikita nyo plakado and sheer coverage dito kasi pumunta na siya sa medium to heavy coverage pero ano lang siya siguro to medium to heavy coverage medyo 70% pag ganun pa lang so let's try to build the foundation kung katup mapantay siya dun sa kabilang side kikita nyo ba? oh So, i-brush na natin to. Pero, parang mas okay na pa, na fingertips nyo yung gagamitin nyo pang blend kasi mas nawawarm yung product and mas maganda yung coat yung binibigay niya na itsura ng foundation. So, I must prepare that. Okay. Ayan na, pantay na siya. Medium coverage na ang dalawa and hindi ko na siya dadagdagan kasi feeling ko once I nag-add pa ako magsiset na siya sa pores ko so okay na yan for me I love it how does it feel it feels so velvety sa face ko and para kang nag powder na parang hindi mo na siya kailangang iset using a powder Mm -hmm. nga lang, ayoko talaga nung sponge application dito sa side ng face ko kasi feeling ko mas inano niya eh, mas what you call that, nagsettle talaga siya dun sa under eye area ko So I'm back. So this is my finish look. Usually this is my everyday look. As in everyday look ko talaga siya. And for me, yung foundation, it feels so velvety. Wala lang akong, wala lang akong tiwala sa uh, aking skin type. Kasi super oily talaga siya. Dito sa T-zone and here, sobrang oily dyan. Kaya, sinet ko pa siya using this Altea Petal Velvets. In-apply ko siya mga bandang 230. 
So now, ang oras na is 3 o'clock p.m. For me, after niyang mag-set at mag-clean dun sa face ko, okay siya. Okay siya tingnan. And hindi man naman na siya kailangang iset eh. Kaya lang wala lang talaga akong tiwala sa mukha ko. Kasi ang dali niya talagang mag-oil up. But for me, the foundation is very uh, super matte, velvety finish. And hindi niya binibigyan ng, alam niyo yun, patay look yung, found, yung mukha niyo. And mukha pa rin siyang, may glow pa rin kayong makukuha from him. And from this foundation. And hindi po ako nag-highlight. That's the natural glow no aking foundation. And I am loving it. So far, so good. Okay siya. And I'll be back after uh, 2 hours, 4 hours mag update ako. And as of the moment, it's 3.05 afternoon here in the Philippines. And that's, that's the longevity of this foundation. So, lalabas ako para to get my nails done. So, I'll update you after an hour. So, bye! Five forty-three, and ito na ang status ng aking face. I told you to make things all right with this. I didn't say you had to settle every blood feud you have. Last time blood feuds weren't settled, I lost a couple of time. But for the life of me, I still don't know what the hell Dan Cocky was mad at me about. Cocky doesn't lose it a couple of times. Of course he did. Would you like me to demonstrate your capacity to be wrong when you're serving your right? Dan Cocky told Time Magazine that I was denying Do you remember the cover? Of Time? Yes. Yes. What was it? What are you talking about? What was on the cover? A computer. Okay. A sculpture of a computer. Surprisingly, a sculpture. mas madaming oil ang nakuha sa side ng may primer. And, I can say na hindi siya transfer proof. Kasi as you can see dun sa blotter na ginamit ko, may mga na transfer sa kanya. At hindi yun konti. Madami. So was it the moment? Upon checking my face, okay pa siya. Kaya lang, mas nag-oil up yung T-zone ko and here and here. Pero okay pa siya. Wearable pa siya. As you can see, 7 na in the evening right now. After 5 hours, okay pa siya. Siguro hindi na ako magbablot kasi okay pa siya. Pero ang napansin ko sa product, yung T-zone ko talaga. Yun yung number 1 na nag-oil up. Pero, yung dito sa cheeks ko, okay siya. Compared dun sa mga other foundation na nagamit ko, nadadamay yung ganito ko. But as you can see, okay pa siya, tolerable pa. So, after uh, 8 hours, I will be back. Sorry guys kung malapit, pero phone lang kasi yung gamit ko. And, for me, after 6 hours ng without blotting, okay pa rin siya. And nasa bahay lang naman ako, kaya hindi siguro siya masyado nag-oil up now. Pero, yung foundation, andito pa rin, super lightweight niya. Guys, from yung consistency niya, nakita niyo naman kanina, it's the most. Pero, kung makikita niyo, sobrang, oh, bindi siya yung matte na matte. Soft matte lang siya and medyo velvety yung feeling. At, ang napansin ko dun sa product, grabe siya mag-oil up sa T-zone. I don't know kung ako lang nakakapansin nun or sa mga nakagamit na, please comment down below kung ganun din yung na-experience nyo with your T-zone. Nasa bahay lang ako and well ventilated, pero nag-oil up pa rin. Pero siguro dahil nakatapat ako sa TV the full day, ganun yung nangyari. Diba? Once minsan na nakatapat tayo sa computer, sa monitor, nag-oil up tayo kahit na nasa bahay lang tayo but yung t-zone ka talaga grabing mag oil up as in super duper grabing mag oil up pero once you blot naman nawawala siya okay pa uli yung foundation and wearable pa rin siya and I must say if okay ba to for oily skin yes I'm giving it a 3.5 I guess 3.5 star kasi naggrabe pa rin talaga siyang mag oil up sa t-zone pero uh, for me Yung ganong klaseng oil up kasi tapos pag binlat mo siya or tissue, okay na ulit. 
pwede mo na siya uli. Okay na, wearable. Rampa mo na siya uli. And I guess, tam, this is the last update I will be giving you guys. Kasi, wala namang ganap masyado. And, dito lang naman sa bahay. And I guess, hindi na siya mag-all up. Hindi ko na siya ibablot. Yung binlat ko kanina, which is this one. Ayan. Ayan. Sobrang dami nung, alam niyo yun, mas madaming, Ah, uh, mas madaming oil lang nakuha dito sa right side na may primer. Maybe sa primer, I don't know. Pero, siguro ang gawin nyo na lang para mas magtagal siya. I-bake nyo yung face nyo. Baby powder, RCMA, banana, banana, your natural primer, natural loose powder. I-ano nyo na lang siya. Isat nyo na lang siya with a good powder para hindi siguro mag-oil up yung T-zone. Pero for me, ang experience ko, yung T-zone. Pero, I will be, I am giving this a chance. Pero for oily skin, okay siya. Kasi, alam nyo yun, matte finish, pero binibigyan niya ng glow. Hindi super dry yung labas ng face nyo. And, itong klaseng gantong foundation, okay siya for dry skin. And, okay din siya for uh, oily skin and combination skin. And, as I can say, wearable siya. And, titing, ah, uh, Makikita nyo pa siya for my upcoming videos. So, yun. Yun lamang for this update. So, for 499 pesos, mm, medyo mahal, pero okay naman na siya. So, hmm. by the way, I thank you for watching this video and I hope you like this. And if you think you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to be notified and to be part of the family, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell beside it. Thank you for watching and hope to see you.